Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually going to be building a tank. Now, I've asked you guys in a poll which kind of tank you guys want to see. Whether it was light tanks, medium tanks, tank destroyers, heavy tanks, or other, uh, you guys actually overwhelm overwhelmingly said heavy tanks. So, today we are actually going to start building one of those. I don't know how big it's going to actually be. Uh, I don't know how heavy it's actually going to be, but yeah. We're going to try and build a heavy tank. Anyway, I think the first thing we actually need to do is build an engine. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie. So we are going to go ahead and build ourselves an engine. Now, I don't really know how this is going to go, to be totally honest with you guys. But if we type in engine right here, you guys can actually see that we could actually, in theory... Build an engine out of these guys. Now, in theory, that would be fine. Uh, and I guess we could actually try and do this for once. Uh, and have like a nine-cylinder really big engine. Now, if we were to do that, how do we actually like... Where's the cylinders for that? Because obviously we can't just add these. They're too small. So how does this actually work? I've not seen it before. Uh, wait. Modular engine cylinder. 3x3. Three three. So this is a cylinder for a 3x3 three three engine. Hot diggity dog. All right, cool. So yes, we can actually put these all the way around. Uh, this is something that I haven't actually done before. So it's going to be kind of interesting. We'll go ahead and put these guys on as well. That's awesome. Uh, and there we go. So this tank is going to be pretty big, apparently. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and attach all of these together in some sort of fashion because I feel like we need to. Uh, with that being said, though, if I did that, what does the other side actually look like? Okay. Right, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Okay, so I don't know whether these guys need to be attached together the way they are, but we're going to go with that. That's fine. Uh, and essentially, we actually need to go ahead and put a T-piece right on the back like this uh, so that they share everything that we put on it. So like fuel, air, um, exhaust, and also cooling. We need to share it between all of the engines. And I think that's fine. Oh, sorry, all of the cylinders, I should say. So that's okay. We're going to go ahead and do this on the back end. I don't know whether this is actually too big for a tank. I'm not going to lie. It does look pretty large. Uh, but it is only 10 long. It's 10 long. It's 2.5 meters long. By how tall? How tall are you? How tall are you? By 6. 1.5. I think that's actually fine for a tank, to be honest. Yes, it's a big engine. And in these tanks, I guess like a World War II tank, it would be like two small engines put together. But because I want to try this... We're going to try and use this engine. Yeah. Might be a bit big for a tank, though. Not going to lie. But who cares? Who cares if it's too big for a tank? We are going to use it. So let's go ahead and put this right here like so. Uh, we'll obviously extend this towards uh, each other. So that's good. All the way down there. And these guys will actually attach to each other. Awesome. All of that's actually completely fine. That's okay. Uh, on the rear, we are actually going to go with a exhaust uh, out the top, I would imagine. So let's go ahead and attach this onto here like so. And that could be literally our only exhaust. We might need more exhaust than that, though. So we'll actually do uh, two right here as well. Okay, awesome. Yes. Uh, the rest of the stuff is obviously after gonna, gonna have to go in the front, which is fine. Uh, we need a big old clutch for this as well. So I'll actually put that on there. Awesome. And I think that's actually fine. Yes. Unless we put the clutch on the back and we have our... Uh, sprocket at the back i think that does make sense actually yeah it does all right we're gonna redesign this bit real quick so essentially delete this bit delete this bit delete that bit we're gonna go ahead and have this bit go sideways go around the engine there we go delete that one put it right there awesome get one of these put it in the middle bam get the clutch put it on the rear and there we go all right that makes more sense that makes way more sense Okie dokie, so now we have the exhaust done, that's A-OK, -okay. that's actually awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and get ourselves a fuel manifold, and we'll actually put that right there. We can possibly have a fuel tank up here, that'd be awesome, uh, and it would totally work out that way, that'd be great. Uh, our air manifolds, we need to put those on next, so let's go ahead and try and find the air one. Here it is, and honestly, we'll actually have two of those as well. I don't know whether we need to, I've never built an engine this big. I'm going to keep saying that throughout, but it's true. So there you go. So we got fuel, fuel. We got air, air. Uh, we got exhaust, exhaust. We need coolant on the top end. So let's just go ahead and try and figure that out, shall we? Uh, so coolant is actually going to be done via... Oh, God. How do we do this? 
I need one of these. Oh, yeah, here we go. So it's one of these. Bam, whack that on there. Very good. Okay, so we actually need a starter on this thing. And we need alternators. So we'll put two alternators. Because uh, why not? I think we can do with just one starter. I'm assuming that's fine. Engine starter will go with one. If it's not enough, we'll do two, obviously. Uh, but that's fine. Good. And then we need the uh, the pump for this. Oh, for the coolant. How do we actually fit that properly? It would have to go on the bottom. It would legitimately actually have to go on the bottom. And that sucks because it eats into the bottom space. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Unless we didn't have this. We made it, what, like a six, seven, eight. An eight-cylinder engine? I guess we could do that. Yeah. All right, cool. Eight-cylinder engine. Let's do it. So whack that on there. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we then need one of these guys on here. Bam. Okay, we essentially just need to hook these up together. We'll also need a radiator. So let's get one of those. Uh, we'll whack it actually on top of the engine. So for now, we're going to go ahead and grab a 5x5 radiator, which is huge. We're going to put it right on the top. And essentially, we need it, ev everything to flow through each other, if that makes sense. So pipes, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so on both sides... This is going to go, actually, it's going to go in. It's then going to go down. Okay. And then that's the uh, similarities finished. Uh, this one is, oh God, this one's going to go this way. Oh no. How does this work? <laughs> How do we do this? I don't know. Okay. So if we have this go backwards, let's say, and we'll have it go straight into this thing. I think that'll be fine. Okay, so go that way, and then go down, and then go in. Okay, awesome. We then need that to go into this down here on either side, this side presumably. There we go, so we'll do this. That'll go backwards to there, and this one will obviously travel backwards to uh, there. Okay, right, so this makes sense. All right, all right, just gonna go ahead and just drop this one straight down. Here we go. Ignore what I'm doing, by the way. If you're using this as a tutorial, uh, I probably would suggest that you shouldn't. Because I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and put this here. That right there, like that. And then obviously this one has to come round. Has to go this way. And attach on to there. Okay, so go upwards and attach on. So that's the coolant. Uh, done. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so the air supply is right here. Let's see if we can just get this working uh, to start with. So, we need fluid pots. Here we go. This is... Actually, we'll just use air filters. That's fine. Uh, we need tanks. And these are going to be for the fuel, obviously. They might run out really quickly if we just use these ones. So, we're actually going to go ahead and attach a medium one on the top of that as well. Uh, there we go. Alright, cool. So, we got a load of fuel. We've got our exhaust. Needs uh, needs doing properly, though. Hold on. Ba -ba 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 -ba, fluid... We need air rams do actually work for exhaust, so that's fine. And we've got another exhaust on the top as well, just in case we need it. And there we go. So let's say this is our eight-cylinder eight cylinder engine. I think we got this. Okie dokie. So I'm actually going to go back into one of my planes. I don't know whether this is going to work for the actual engine we've got, but we're going to go ahead and use Billy's microcontroller to see if it actually works. So we're going to grab this microcontroller. All right, we're going to take it down to wherever it needs to go. Let's just say here. That's probably fine. There we go. Uh, and if we can actually just attach it onto there, that would be great. We can't merge it. But if we do... Oh, God. If we do this, maybe that will allow us to merge it? No, it won't. <laughs> what? Why? Why won't that allow us to merge it? Could it? All right, put it somewhere else. It doesn't, doesn't really matter for right now. Put it on the bottom. That's fine. All right, here we go. Lift it up. All right, move it backwards to the middle-ish. Paste it. And merge it. All right, very good. So let's go ahead and attach all of these and then we'll figure it out from there. So starter might not work. It might. We'll see. Uh, air throttle. We need that to go to there and also there. I don't know whether this is going to work the way we've got it. Attach that to there and there. That's awesome. RPS is just going to be that. Uh, we then need a throttle and we need a key. All right, throttle. Okay, just build it on one side. That's fine. Throttle and a key. A key, bam, there we go, awesome. And then we need a battery. We're going to go with a decently sized one, like a big one. And we'll put that right there. Awesome. Uh, and then, obviously, we're going to have to attach all these together. But anyway, key, yes. 
throttle input is right there. And then if we electrify, electrify all of these guys, we should be good to go. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Uh, when the key is actually turned, it's going to turn on the fan as well, because that makes sense. Uh, and that is all A-OK. -okay. All right, spawn it in. How big is it? Oh, it's quite large, but it's not huge. Okay. All right, ready? So far, not very good. So far, not very good. It's not. It's not working. But is that because the engine can't actually crank over? Is that is that the case? Is that what's happening here? Possibly. Let's try and add another starter. So get another starter. Go ahead and whack it on right there. Awesome. Attach it to the starter button thingamabobby. And give it electricity. Alright, let's try this again. Also, we're going to move it over towards us. Because that does make sense. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Spawn it in. Yes. Alright, very good. Starter, let's go. Sounds a little bit more promising. Not gonna lie, it does sound a little bit more promising, but still not working. Okay, that's fine. Let's try it with another starter. I don't see why you'd need so many starters, but maybe it is the case. Alright, wait, no. <laughs> it needs electricity and stuff, let's do this. Alright, electricity, yes. And, uh, starter, please. There we go. Excellent, start it up, let's go. Come on. Guys, we got an engine running. It doesn't seem very efficient, but it is running. Okay, what is wrong with it, though? What is actually wrong with it? Is it too much fuel, too much air? I, I really don't know. I don't know. But when it's under load, maybe it'll actually help. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a generator. This will be our load factor. We'll go ahead and whack that straight on the back. And see what that does. Alright, ready? It hasn't actually added any strain to it. That's annoying. But it is actually a running engine. So that's perfect. That's really good. Alright, so with all that being said then, let's go ahead and delete these guys. Delete that guy, delete that guy, delete that guy. Uh, we need to somehow put a fuel tank on this thing. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, I am actually gonna try and move some of these pipes if I can. We're gonna delete that battery. We're gonna delete that thing. The exhaust can obviously be put on wherever we want, whenever we want. So that's fine. Uh, and all of that is actually completely fine. Well then, obviously we want this to look nice. We're going to go ahead and paint... Oh, not paint. We're going to do this. Let's go ahead and try and seal it in. Alright, I do want fuel tanks somewhere. And I feel like the fuel tanks will go somewhere like here-ish. So we'll do this. Alright, delete that one real quick. And we need some pipes. Okay. We'll actually replace it with this guy. There we go. Awesome. And... We'll continue. So seal this off. There we go. Very good. Seal that off, obviously. And seal all of this. There we go. And that's all A-OK, -okay, actually. Very nice. Uh, and we'll actually seal the whole side off as well. There we go. And our fuel tank will actually overlap. So it'll go over the side. Uh, it'll go down the side. And it'll be about this big. Okay. Is that is that Okay. Is that okay? Because that sort of involves the side of the tank. So let's not deal with that right now. Let's not deal with the side of the tank. We'll just deal with said engine. Alright. Okay. So. Uh, oh, I don't know how I want it to look. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to go ahead and add pieces like this to the side of this. As if they're like heat sinks, I guess. Uh, delete all of those guys. Go ahead and put that piece on, that piece on, that piece on, that piece on. And... That's all A-OK. -okay. All right, so we've got ourselves an engine. I think that's fine. All right, so the exhaust, we're going to leave as is. Uh, everything else is actually A-OK. -okay. This is our tank engine. Is it going to work? I don't know. Okie dokie. So now that we've actually done all of this, let's go ahead and bring this forwards one last little bit. There we go. Uh, and we'll actually go ahead and put this piece right here. And honestly, I think with all of these pipes and stuff, I want it to all be sealed. So I'm going to change all of these pipes into covered pipes, and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so this should be all the pipes actually in. Uh, I've left the pipes in the middle like that, because I feel like that doesn't actually look too bad. And we should be able to just seal this off like this. And there we go, we've got ourselves a pretty decent looking engine. I think this will go into a tank. Uh, obviously this is, what, how wide? This is actually, where does it say? Nine, so it's 2.25 meters wide. 
that's really wide. But I think we can, I think we can work with that. Okay, so let's say that our engine does actually look like that. And then we obviously put another piece on the side, uh, like this. There we go. Uh, and that actually like seals it off if that makes sense. So this will be like the interior of the tank, let's say. Uh, that right there is, oh, well, how big is it? We need to figure this out. So this makes it to 75, 275. Okay, that's fine. And then we need tracks and the tracks that will be added, uh, sorry, tank, driving sprocket are probably going to be medium ones. Um, so that actually adds an extra however much. Let's have a little look at this. So that all the way to there is 4.25 meters wide. This is going to be a chunky tank. It is. It's going to be a chunky, chunky tank. But we're going to roll with it. I guess it's a super heavy tank rather than just a heavy tank. But I don't know. Uh, I guess let me know in the comments down below what you guys actually think of this. And uh, I guess we'll see what we can do with it. But anyway, let's go and delete that, delete that. And that's our engine. Nice. I think we've done a good job. Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually painted it as well because uh, I feel like it is going to go in the tank somehow. So we're just going to go ahead and paint it as is. Uh, we're going to leave these guys like this. There we go. And we'll fill all of these like this. Because I just want, I don't know, I want to build something that I actually really, really, really like. Uh, and at the minute, we are obviously building a missile boat. But it's just, I don't know. We're going to continue to build until we build something that's special, I guess. That's actually really, really special. Uh, and I hope that this turns out to be that thing. But honestly, I'm not sure. We'll try. We'll try our best. But anyway, that actually looks pretty good to me. I think it will work, and uh, I think we're going to enjoy this. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.